So we're, we're talking about the difference between working in a commercial theater situation and working in a sort of nonprofit, the Buddies of Stratford, the Tarragon situation. Yeah. When you walk into a large edition for War Horse or Lord of the Rings, is that different than auditioning for Shaw of Stratford or Buddies in Bad Times? Not so drastically different for Shaw. Well, probably more so for Shaw, but not so drastically different for Stratford. It's still kind of acting by board and it's usually a large room. But there's a certain way you've got to carry yourself when you go into that. Um, this is the confidence thing again? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really has to be uh, more at work. Hi, my name is Rick McMillan. No. I'm going to do three <laughs> pieces for you today. No. <laughs> no, it, it's not quite that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's kind of like, it, it, it does demand a certain, you are a little bigger than you usually are. It's an actual physical thing when you walk in, you know, you're, your energy has to fill that particular space. Not in a, a... Consciously or unconsciously? Both. You get to the point, you do it consciously to get to the point where it's not conscious. It's, it becomes a part of you. That's where you walk up to the table and say hi to the producers or whatever? Exactly. Or you, the distance you keep from them. There's a whole dynamic at work. So here we are. You're walking into the room to audition yeah. for Lord of the Rings with the English producers and Marvish yeah. Productions. Explain how you walk to the table and shake the first hand. Well, I, I don't, first of all, I don't shake a hand unless they want to. It's a silly thing like that. It's <clears throat> it, that kind of weakens you in a sort of. There's a whole dynamic to this. It's just really weird. You're walking in as the character. You know, you know, you're not wearing, you know, the the black long floor length gown or whatever. You're just walking in as you're just walking in with that power. No wonder I never get these parts. <laughs> I never get these parts. It's 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 an odd thing, but it's just especially when you're working with the Brits and it was a British director. I have to make him believe that I'm English. Well, that, and that's just not with an accent. That's not just that's with the confidence we talked about, the manufactured confidence. So when you walked into the room for Lord of the Rings, you walked in as a Saruman, yeah. Not you know like in a dizzy sort of way, but just with that kind of power that the character carries. You know, it's quite expansive and it's quite. There's not a lot of movement necessary. It's just a matter of strength, inner strength. So I try to focus on that. Also, I got cowboy boots to look bigger. <laughs> no, it's because it's so smart, man. Oh it's no, it's just that. First of all, it's it's a dynamic. They they're looking. They when you're walking in, they want to. Is this the person? I did wear a, a black pair of pants, black jacket, but I didn't wear a cape. Anything that would suggest the height, and would ex, uh, suggest the uh, the evil in the character, the darkness in the character, and that's all. I just carried it not full bore, but just in a believable context when I walked in. 